In this video, we'll talk about MATLAB integration 101. There are a lot of questions about, you know, how to integrate with MATLAB and how to do it, uh, you know, first in, in the first model. There are a bunch of videos on the usage of the MATLAB. Uh, you can find them on MBSC Execution channel, but uh, we'll talk about the basic things, you know, from the scratch. So you can also find, you know, some integration steps here. As you can see docsnomagic.com and then MATLAB, you will search and you will find. But um, let's do that, you know, together. So when you install Cameo Systems Modeler or Katia Magic Cyber Engineer and you have a SysML, you can, and Simulation Toolkit actually, not necessarily even SysML, you can integrate with MATLAB going Tools, Integrations, MATLAB. And you need to have MATLAB installed. Could be recent versions, you know, could be not so much. You see, like, uh, starting to 2012, MATLAB uh, and then this folder and that's it you can click on open and that's that's enough you cl click OK and restart Cameo and your integration will work one thing that actually when you're integrating uh, you need uh, write permissions to program files so you need to start Cameo by right clicking on the icon for the Cameo right clicking on the icon uh, here again you know um, and choosing run as administrator so this is, will prevent, uh, you know, from uh, some uh, issues where, you know, integration moment will not allow you to copy the files during the integration and then you will need to do it manually, you know. If you'll need to do it manually, you can find that solution on the, just search by error in the documentation and you will find, you know, how to solve it. But um, with admin rights, we will have no problems. So now let's create a, new project and let's uh, set up the integration in the model once we have the MATLAB installed and integrated in Cameo we can start using it so let's see how that works and here we have uh, some uh, some uh, MATLAB uh, file you see very simple M file which you can drag and drop you know directly let me open it uh, and it uh, is using you see function to call MATLAB function, you know, this one, which is declared here, you can call anything, you know, any operation of the MATLAB, not only the one which you define here, assign some variables and add those variables to this one and add those inputs, you know, to this one and uh, provide the result. That's it, you know, so kind of small one. Now let's um, create a block diagram. And before actually running anything, let's check that integration works correctly. So let's go to Windows, Simulation, uh, and here choose the MATLAB as the language. And here you can access the MATLAB, any function, and for example, version will print, you know, which version of the MATLAB is used here, which one is integrated, as you see, 2020A update 5. Now in the block diagram, so it means that it works correctly. You know, if you don't get you know, a reasonable response on this version, when you choose MATLAB uh, as a language, you need to reintegrate it again. So now it will create, you know, some, uh, some system, which will have a result, which is real. And then maybe system will have some parts, right? Uh, some sub system which will have uh, we'll copy this one and we'll rename it uh, as a uh, with control drag you can drag value property will be input uh, a and then another one subsystem another which will have uh, will have uh, again value property will be like uh, input B also real and now uh, to integrate uh, I could drag to the parametric diagram so I will create here parametric diagram which when you create in the owner you know in the um, system which has a parts you will uh, access all the properties so here we will create diagram uh, we'll use parametric diagram and then we'll show the value properties like this okay also can show the parts uh, or actually even nothing you know like let's do nothing for example cancel this one then take this m file here drag it 
and because the M file assign, attached uh, 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 it has the function so or procedure, so it shows this one. You see parameters are created, language is assigned as a MATLAB, so it will call it uh, when it will execute. You know, you see the constraint block is created automatically, and also we can use equation wizard to map to the properties of the system. I will select this, click on this equation wizard. And here we have those properties. I can map them, you know, to this. So here I see the system model. Here we see constraint block, and we'll add A to, A to result, E to one input, and D to another input. Okay. Then click OK. So it creates the parametric diagram. And we see those uh, inputs. And this is result. And we can now run this one. Produces result. And we can change inputs, 5, 10. And we can actually store those inputs as a default values. Right click, save to the default value, save to the default value, stop it, run again. You see result is here. And uh, also the result we generate, we can change also here. You see like save to the default, save to the default. And if you will click here, you see the default ones are here. If you will run this block, run, you get a result here immediately. You can attach requirements, for example. Uh, open this one. You can attach requirements saying that like uh, result limit result shall be less than 100. And then if result satisfies that, it will have the limit also. Those could have a limit, and that's pretty much also we can parse requirement automatically, which is not related to, to MATLAB synchronization, but uh, just in general. So we have general, uh, general use requirements term glossary, okay. We have now constraint, you see, on the result. If we will run again, you see this result is not satisfied. And we can change some inputs to get result which satisfies the solution. So pretty much that's how we can integrate with the MATLAB. And uh, there are more videos available on that. Again, you can go to the YouTube MBSC execution channel. This one and that. search by the And MATLAB. then I will create uh, another package uh, functions. Lab you will find uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five videos uh, related to the MATLAB. And uh, also don't forget this documentation uh, here and uh, let us know if you need something uh, else on the basic level for integration with MATLAB. But that was 101 for the integration.